man, there's drama. Drama between drama. Drama. What's drama. The drama. Drama between Kevin Durant and the Rus- Russell Westbrook and OKC saying that Kevin Durant actually made a promise of re-signing with the Thunder the past mm. season. He people were saying that oh he talked to Russell Westbrook or Nick Collison saying I'm I'm, I'm going to come back man don't worry don't worry I'm going to come back. But Kevin Durant <laughs> said I made no promises. I made no promises with that organization. At the end of the day, it's like rumors are being um, popped up because, you know, it's social media. They want to make drama. But mm-hmm. I didn't say anything. And obviously, there's that Russell Westbrook video saying uh, <laughs> uh, some kid uh, met Russell Westbrook in a convenience store and has had a selfie on him. It's mm-hmm. like, yo, Russell Westbrook, what do you think about that um, Kevin Durant being in the Warriors? Mm-hmm. And he just laughed it off and he just walked away. That was a funny line. He's like, wow. ah. If you haven't, if you haven't <laughs> seen that video, then you, gotta, you guys got to go check it out, funny. man. Go search that up. But so wait, so Durant, let me get this straight. So Durant said something to Westbrook. The and rumor Westbrook, is Durant probably said yeah. something to Russell Westbrook or Nick Collison or the organization that I'm going to come back and re-sign with the Thunder. Mm. And obviously we know what what transpired. He well, he was he signed with the Warriors, man. What? But I feel like at this point Durant has made his due with with the organization. He made Oklahoma City just the theme in general, Thunder, significant. Like he did what he was, you know, what he was supposed to do when he came there and played for them. Like, you know, he put the city on the map. Uh, he played like he, you know, like a superstar, and he he showed, you know, the fans at OKC. Yeah. You know, but I don't think that's the question. I think the question was, I don't think people will, people will saw Durant as someone who would take back his word. Because people look at him as like the MVP, as a role model. I looked at him as like, okay, he's going to say that. But throughout the season, he never made, he never mentioned about free agency. He was quiet about it. Because he, he knows the media. And he yeah. doesn't really like the media. And he doesn't he, like, he, he was doesn't never a fan of the media. You've like seen it. him make comments when he was uh, during the postseason about like <laughs> Mark Cuban and, and, and Charlie Villanueva. But like, he just went on like it is. Yeah. Right? Well, not even that. He just hates, at this point. He, he, like media guys, he hates Stephen, um, Stephen A. Smith and yeah. all those guys talking that trash yeah, against it's... Kevin Durant. And like him not being one of the best players, and stuff, I, th- stuff yeah. like that. I think he's just being blown out of proportion at this point. Yeah. They're just they're just trying to milk it out. Whatever you know, when he decided to go to uh, Golden State, he, they're just milking it out, trying to get as much as they can Yo, out of the situation where mm-hmm. you were. Like, even- aren't you? Aren't aren't both of you excited that when the Warriors and uh, OKC are gonna face the season, uh, next season? It's gonna be, be exciting. It'll be game. exciting. You know? I, I'm more excited with the idea that I can. To me, this I can relate to with how Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady were um, when Trace T Mac decided, "Hey, I want to have my own kind of team." Because I feel like with Kevin Durant and and Russell Westbrook, they're just that good that I feel like they do deserve that time to you know, to, Westbrook deserves that you know chance to really be himself and to just kind of be his own and not have to go through the shadows of Durant, just having to be compared all the time, having to be criticized just because Durant is just that good. And now, you know, he has this chance to just really, you know, own a team and actually lead a team on his own. And I think I'm more excited about that. It's just, I feel like that's what, that Vince Carter and T-Mac relation, when T-Mac went to Orlando and they just both shine together. And I think that that's I'm more excited about this opportunity that they so can So I have. guess that laugh that he did with that kid in the video was more of a sign of relief. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. like, this is my his, team yeah, now. It's his team now and I think... Yeah. Oh, everyone knew that. It was Westbrook be has team. been always been that kind of player though, that he wants to own, like he can own a team and he can lead a team. And this time, you know, he was doing it when Durant was injured. He was dominating, his triple doubles. He was, and you know, leading in the MVP votes. He was getting all that. And I think this is his chance. And I think we should be more positive. We should look forward more to that, as opposed mm-hmm. to getting all this drama out of the situation. Sure. Let's talk about the flip side. So we saw mm-hmm. that when you know Durant moved, now Westbrook has a chance to be his own man. Mm-hmm. But then there's also the other side where Durant comes to the Warriors, and now I see also talks about Clay Thompson not wanting to, or like how will Thompson mesh? And I saw a quote of Thompson saying like, I'm not going to change the way I play just because Durant comes. So is there a potential conflict between Durant and Clay in terms of on the I mean, court? What's be, the other effect now? It's going to be so difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve Curry and the coaching staff has a difficult job this summer or like before the uh, before the season starts during the off season because like they have to make sure they have to try to get Kevin Durant uh, be able to play with Stephen Curry, Draymond Green. Uh, Andre Iguodala and uh, Clay Thompson. Like, how are they gonna play together? That's gonna be a lot difficult to try to mesh up. I it might, probably might take some time, 
or mm -hmm. maybe they'll go on another winning streak like last year. But what's great about it is just the system of how Golden State play. It's so unselfish and it it's more it depends solely on the system that they run, the plays that they run, that it it never depended on a, on one player solely in general. So it's it's almost like if you watch San Antonio play, they have a system that they run that they just literally have different players that fit into their system. And to me, Durant is probably the most, you know, uh, adaptable player that you can have, in uh, adaptable superstar, because he can play inside out, mm -hmm. and he's just that skilled that for Durant, yeah. it's, it's probably going to be the easiest thing for him to do is to transition into a team that plays team basketball, that it never depended on solely on one player. Like, it's, I think to me, he's going to have... And, I mean, for Steve Kerr, he's going to have a fun job, you know, trying to figure out how to use Durant. Mm -hmm. But for Durant, it's going to be so easy for him because he knows his game and, and he fits exactly to how the Warriors play. It's unselfish. It's a lot of shooting and a lot of runs and, and a lot of screens. And that's where Durant really played well in going through screens. If you really watch his game, coming down like, you know, from Serge Ibaka or like Steven Adams' screen, that was his game. And you're going to see that a lot happening now with the Warriors. Especially if Curry feeds Durant, even in transition, like Durant, you can't stop. I can't imagine Draymond. Long. Yeah, Draymond's gonna average at least. I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna average close to ten assists per game. I think he's just, he's just gonna run them as the uh, you know power point guard. <laughs> you know the forward and the the point guard. Yeah, point him and for, Iguodala. Point forward, yeah. And you're just gonna see Curry, Thompson, and Durant just running around through screens of like you know Zaza Pachulia or like Anderson Virgil or now Javale McGee too. Actually, mm -hmm. if you guys didn't know. Uh, Why is <laughs> the third MVP? But yeah, now yeah, really the MVP. Shacked in a, a full MVP. <laughs> now, now they're now they're kind of stacked, I guess.